<laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. Um, so as you saw from my last vlog, I lost two and a half pounds last week, yay! So I had a really good week, feeling really good about it. I'd like to lose again this week, um, <laughs> yes I would. So we're going to try and have another good week. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to take you around with me again for the third week in a row and see how I get on. So this munchkin's had her breakfast already. She had porridge with raspberries and then I just gave her um, a rice cake whilst I made my own breakfast. Now we don't have much milk and I'm also saving having a yogurt until later just because I don't like to have more than one of the Muller yogurts in a day. Um, so I've had a toasted ham sandwich with a load of salad in there and a little bit of salad cream which will be sinned. Right, so for lunch today, I know it doesn't look the most appetising, but it is courgette um, mixed with 35 grams of primula, which is half and healthy extra A, um, cherry tomatoes and some sardines in tomato sauce. Right, so for dinner tonight, we're trying the Aldi 5% fat burgers. I've got a double cheeseburger tower there. Slimming World chips, baked beans, and I've got some Crucials chilli and garlic sauce. Yummy. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. No, it is way too late, but I just can't get my eyes of you. Maybe we will regret this, but tomorrow is a Anything, I will do anything to get your love Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost, let's turn up the love Because it's on everything I added some more red lentils a little bit more cumin and a little bit more salt and pepper and then I've just let that simmer until the lentils are cooked through and that is my carrot coriander and red lentil soup I didn't do any precise measurements I just sort of did it all by eye based on the number of carrots that I had left um, which I usually if they were to go mushy I'd just chuck them in the bin but instead of doing that this time around to save on wastage, I've made a delicious soup. So I'm very happy. I'm gonna have this for my lunch. What are you doing, Missy? What are you doing? 
Right, so dinner is cooking and I'm making a Thai red curry and um, we're going to have that with some rice. Um, I'll just show you the Thai curry paste and the coconut milk that I use. Right, so I've got the Blue Dragon Thai Red Curry Paste and that is three sins per tablespoon and there is three tablespoons in the um, in the curry, can't get my words out. And then I've also got the reduced fat coconut milk from Asda and the app says that it's three sins per 100 ml. I put 200 ml in the curry and then I also put in 200 ml of stock. So I don't use the whole can just to reduce the sin slightly. Um, I've put the other half of this can in the fridge ready because I'm gonna make a Thai soup. And this is packed with like speed food as well. I've got mushrooms, green beans, red peppers, onions, and then obviously the chicken. I've used chicken thighs. Um, I think I've said before that I prefer chicken thighs in curry. I just think it's a much more tender um, cut of meat. So yeah, we've got that there. And if this makes up four portions, which it should, then it comes to 3.75 sins per portion. Um, I'll probably just round that up to four just to be safe. I'm also going to have some of the Sensations Oriental crackers with my dinner and for 12 and a half grams it's three sins. Hi guys, so I've not spoken to the camera today and um, we've had a manic day. If you're wondering what all this mess is, it's because we've had a few of our new kitchen cupboards fitted um, and this is the stuff that we've taken out ready for the other kitchen cupboards to be fitted. Yeah! So this morning for breakfast, I just had some um, Quaker Oats porridge with raspberries and blueberries in them. Um, I didn't have lunch, which is really bad, I know. I had a latte while I was out, back to my old tricks with the coffee, but I am sinning it, so it was six sins for like a small full fat, well it was semi skimmed, but I'm gonna call it like six sins anyway, for the latte. And then I'll show you what I'm having for dinner now, although I'll probably still be hungry afterwards because I didn't have lunch, so I might have something else after. So this is leftovers out of the freezer. If you watched last week's vlog, then you would have seen that I made like a baked bean lasagna, pasta bake, because I didn't have any lasagna sheets. So I've got leftovers of that, which was like three sins or something. I'll check back in my food diary what the sins were. Um, and then I've just put some Primula light on top as well as one of my healthy extras. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? You're right under there? Yeah, I hope you don't fart. <laughs> You're gonna pop on daddy's head. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> She's well heavy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, lift her off now. No. I'm break my neck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> right, so the purpose of me uh, coming on to say hi to you guys is that Jack decided he wanted a McDonald's for dinner. Didn't you, Jack? But I was very good. And because I had my leftover pasta earlier, I only got myself a Diet Coke. And I'm also very proud of myself because, as some of you may know, um, I'm still working towards getting my driving license. Yeah. Yes! And I drove us to McDonald's. Yay! I'm back. Um, I am insured on Jack's car, by the way, in case any of you are worried that I'm driving illegally. I'm not. But yeah, I drove all the way there, all the way back. No problems. And I've got my Diet Coke. Very happy. Are you happy? Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Right, so Jack's gonna go enjoy his Big Mac meal, and I'm going to enjoy my large Diet Coke. Here's a question. What? Who orders a filly of fish at McDonald's? I wanna know. People like, that can't eat the other stuff. Yeah, they just bought out that vegan burger, they didn't they? I've tried a filet of fish. Yeah, That's but right. that's McDonald's really, an order it. Mm. Comment. Comment. We'll have do a little poll. Do you order the filet yeah. of fish? It Let is. us know. I always try that new vegan burger. Is, is there good? actually a vegan burger? <laughs> yeah, they've, they've released it. Hey. Oh, that's the sign that it's time for us to go. Bye. How can you do this to me? Mrs. Brown's no, just Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> Why did you leave? Hi guys!
guys so i didn't talk to the camera yesterday it was a bit of a manic day um i think i filmed a clip of my breakfast second day in a row that i didn't have lunch i know it's really bad i had a coffee at costa for five and a half sins um i just thought i'll just sin my coffees this week after the uh gain that i had not last week but the week before when i had so many coffees in one week um and then for dinner we did get a takeaway but i tried to be really good so i got a chicken shish kebab with salad and i had a couple of bites of my pitta but um gave the rest to jack and i had it with some aldi um rice the savory vegetable one which is sin free so i thought that was a healthy ish choice um, this morning I had a slice of toast with some Primula light on it and then I've had two satsumas and now I'm having some of that soup that you will have seen me make earlier on in the video. So yeah, that's got you up to speed. But yesterday I was at a wedding fair all day so that's why it was a bit manic and then we had to go to Aldi because they have the baby event on so we're picking up some wipes and we had to pick up a new car seat from Asda and our kitchen was getting done so we've got like oh, partially that's... new kitchen partially old kitchen at the minute so we had to tidy everything and yeah just one of those days right guys so for dinner tonight i'm cooking some version of this trinidadian beef hot pot from the free foods feasts book and drum roll please the day has come i'm cooking rice from scratch you guys know this was my new year's resolution to not use boil in the bag rice so I'm going to give it a go tonight and see how we get on. Come on then. Come to mummy. Come on. You're trying. You're not going the right way though. This way. This way. <laughs> Come on then. Okay, so here is the completed dish. And in case any of you were wondering, here is my rice which is out of focus. There we go. Looking like it's been perfectly cooked. I'm so happy. Good morning guys. It is breakfast time and for breakfast today I have some baked oats. In there I've got three sins worth of like mini kinder bar things. Um, and I've also got some raspberries and blueberries. It's like 50 grams of the fruit, which I would have had anyway, even if it wasn't cooked. So it's negligible whether I'm gonna sin them or not, but the chocolate's three sins. Got myself a coffee, got my food diary, got my baby. Yeah, all set. Gonna get started for the day. Right guys, so for dinner tonight, we have some piri piri lamb steaks on top of rice and peas with some mixed peppers and mushrooms with some tomato puree and about a sin's worth of olive oil. Yummy! Excuse me, are you being a grump? Are you being a grump? Mm, yeah, like butter wouldn't melt. Right guys, so it is 10 past 11, um, all I've eaten today is a clementine, clementine, however you want to pronounce it, sweet clem, um, and a coffee. I'm now having another coffee and a slice of toast with half a tablespoon of Twix spread, which is two sins for my breakfast. I've noticed that I've been really bad this week with lunches and I think three days out of this week instead of eating lunch I had a coffee while out and I did send the coffees this week um, unlike the other week where I had all them coffees and didn't send them and then I gained but so I'm a bit anxious about how today's weigh in is going to go we'll see what happens um, I'm going to try and eat lunch before I go but yeah I really need to work on not missing meals it's just so difficult if you're out and about um, and sometimes breakfast as well is difficult if she's being particularly grisly so oh the joys mm, Twix I am having a bowl of turkey soup which is now out of focus um, there we go but yeah I'm having a bowl of turkey soup it's one that was in the freezer from Christmas leftovers so it feels very festive and I'm hoping it's going to cheer me up a bit and it's not too heavy before weighing hi guys so it is the day after weigh-in today um so i got weighed yesterday and the results are in and i lost another two pound so i'm really happy two weeks on plan in a row that's four and a half pounds lost over the two weeks and i was supposed to get this last week but they forgot so i got it this week my club 10 award 
Yay! <laughs> Got my club 10. Don't rip it. That's going to go straight in your mouth, isn't it? No! <laughs> So yeah, I got my Club 10 award. Um, I was supposed to get it last week, but I think they'd run out of certificates. So I got the certificate yesterday, so I'm very happy with that. Um, what did we have for dinner last night after weigh-in? I had spaghetti bolognese, um, and I did treat myself to two pieces of garlic bread. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it was within sins, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not doing a weekly, uh, a weekly vlog for next week, um, it's just going to be an update video and I'm not quite sure how it's going to go um, in terms of weight loss next week because I am off out to Nando's with friends on Friday and then I have my engagement meal on Saturday. Yes, we're going out for a meal aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I've got the engagement meal on Saturday and then on Sunday we're going out for afternoon tea for Jack's Nan's birthday. So I've got a lot going on so I'm not going to do a weekly vlog. Um, I will be back next week with like an update video to let you know how I got on and then hopefully the week after I'll be back to doing the weekly vlog again. Oh my goodness, what are you doing Pickle? Um, if you haven't seen as well, I have got an update on Rosie video up on my channel. Um, and I haven't watched it back, I did mention that she was grumpy throughout quite a lot of the video which isn't completely untrue because she is teething so she is grumpy at the minute and a bit of a handful but that doesn't mean that I love her any less and I don't want people to think that I'm just like complaining about her I'm just telling you all how it is and at the minute she's a bit of a grizzle grump most of the time but I'm sure she will, once these teeth have cut through or whatever's bothering her has stopped bothering her, I'm sure she'll be back to her normal happy self. But yeah, like I said, I love her still nonetheless, even if she is grumpy. But I like to try and keep my videos as honest as possible with you guys. Um, and yeah, it hasn't all been an easy ride over the last six months. And she was a lot easier of a baby um, at the beginning of her life than at this six month stage but you know that's just all part of being a parent isn't it you deal with the highs and the lows and it's pretty much all highs um just a bit of sleep de uh, deprivation which is the low point but that's what you get when you have a baby isn't it but I digress you guys probably aren't interested in that you guys are here for the Slimming World update so yeah another successful week happy days um, I've rambled on long enough so please do give me a big thumbs up as always if you enjoy the videos wait let's say goodbye to everyone now um, I've gone out of focus there we go don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos and um, leave your comments down below as always and I will see you all next week for my next update bye guys hey won't you pull me another I'm going in so wish me good luck yeah gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost let's turn up the love no, it is way too late, but